Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. Uh, raining right now here in Pocomoke City, Maryland, but you know what? Enduring the elements sometimes is worth it. It's not every day you get a chance to hang out with a Maryland state record fisherman. Not only that, but also see this impressive fish. Well, in doing so, I learned how that fish was caught. I'm also learning what's in its future. It isn't garbage day on the docks in Pocomoke City, and 20-year-old Justin Kelly isn't sorting through somebody else's stuff. No, what's inside these black plastic bags is distinctively his. The Maryland state record long-nosed gar caught from the black waters of the Pocomoke River. It was 49 inches long and 17 pounds. They didn't do the girth, but uh, yeah, 49 inches long, that was, that was what got me. <laughs> Since the beginning of time, there have been fishermen attracted to what others would consider fringe species, away from the norm. Justin fits that category well, since first realizing how challenging gar are to catch. And he's been addicted ever since. We've been fishing for him since last year. Um, this year was the first year we actually got a couple. Took my boat out and went out here in the river. And uh, we've been catching a few little ones and uh, on some minnows and stuff. And we ended up catching a couple of bluegill and using them as bait. Uh, about midday, it was on a Saturday, we ended up catching uh, something pretty big. <laughs> and uh, finally got it to the boat and got it in and ended up Googling the, the, the record and seeing it was 16 pounds, so I knew it had to be close. Went up to Seahawks and checked it in, and uh, a couple days they told me it was a state record. We've seen this addiction before, like the time we went bow fishing on the Nanticoke near Seaford, Delaware. Or as I like to remember it, the time that Gar tried to eat the camera right out of my hand. It's, it's definitely not the prettiest fish. Um, them, them teeth have got me a couple times. They're, they're pretty sharp. But I mean, it's it's you know something prehistoric you catch. It's 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 not like a, a rock or something that any old person goes out there and catches. But uh, it's it's just uh, they're neat. I mean, their their skin is hard as a rock, and and I mean they're just a fish just floating around there eating and, and very very hard to catch. But for a fish whose prehistoric appearance is matched only by its natural intimidation factor. Truth be told, these sleek predators are much more interested in the small fish they can ambush and swallow whole and present little danger to the people who love to swim and play in the same Delmarva waters that we now know can hold record setters. Uh, my buddy who went fishing with me is actually from Baltimore, and when I showed him what it looked like, he was <laughs> he definitely didn't want to go swimming in the water. So it's 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 kind of a, a fish that and they're attracted to splashing, but you know it, it's it's kind of more scared of you and than in you are a bit, pretty much. While Justin will receive an award from the state DNR this weekend for catching a new state record, he's not keeping this prize fish to himself. By donating it to the Delmarva Discovery Center in Pocomoke, the fish will stay on ice for now, but with hopes of creating an exhibit featuring this now famous fish caught just a few minutes away. Well, we would love to be able to have the uh the trophy fish mounted uh, if we can afford to do that or if we can find somebody who's willing to donate that service. Uh, other than that, we might use the skull or some other part of the fish um, as an interpretive tool and to have on display uh, along with the picture of uh, Justin holding the fish when he caught it. I'm Justin Kelly, the new long news guard record from Maryland. Get outdoors, Delmarva.